Have you ever wondered about the latest developments in military technology, particularly in the Philippines? If so, you're in for a treat. Let's delve into a recent deal that has made waves in the international defense community. The Philippines, an archipelago nation in Southeast Asia known for its rich biodiversity and vibrant culture, has decided to up its defense game. It has finalized a deal to purchase a shore-based anti-ship missile system from none other than India. Now this isn't just any missile system, it's the first of its kind, jointly developed by India and Russia, two global heavyweights in the field of defense technology. As for the cost, a cool $375 million. But this isn't just a spending spree, it's a strategic move, part of a broader effort to modernize the Philippines' military. And it's about time, considering the current challenges the country faces due to outdated equipment. But why this missile system, you ask? The answer lies in the country's geographic location. The Philippines is an archipelagic nation surrounded by vast bodies of water. This makes it essential for the country to have a robust defense system to protect its maritime territory. And that's exactly what this missile system aims to do, deter foreign vessels from encroaching on its exclusive economic zone. So, the Philippines is gearing up its defense. But what exactly is this missile system they've acquired? What makes the BrahMos missile system so special, you might ask? Well, let's dive in. The BrahMos anti-ship missiles are a wonder of modern military technology, a testament to the ingenuity of Indian and Russian engineers. These missiles are renowned for their supersonic speed, a feature that makes them incredibly effective against air defenses. Imagine a missile soaring through the air faster than the speed of sound, giving the enemy just a few precious seconds to react. That's the formidable power of the BrahMos missile. But it's not just speed that makes this missile stand out. Its capability to enhance naval warfare is equally impressive. These missiles can be deployed from the shore to target enemy vessels at sea, creating a formidable line of defense for a nation's maritime territory. Picture a line of these missiles standing guard along the coast, ready to deter any foreign vessel that dares to encroach. However, as with any technology, the BrahMos missile system is not without its challenges. One of the primary difficulties lies in targeting moving maritime targets. The open sea is a vast, unpredictable playground, and hitting a moving target requires a combination of precision, timing, and advanced targeting systems. Another challenge is enhancing maritime surveillance capabilities. After all, the effectiveness of these missiles is only as good as the information they're provided with. Even with these challenges, the BrahMos missile system is a game changer in the world of naval warfare. It's a force to be reckoned with, providing a significant boost to any nation's defense capabilities. Now that we've understood how this missile system works, let's talk about what it means for the Philippines and the region. How does this missile deal affect the Philippines and the region's dynamics? Well, in many ways, this deal is a game changer. The BrahMos missile system is a piece of cutting-edge technology designed to protect maritime territories. For the Philippines, this means a significant upgrade in their ability to defend their exclusive economic zone. The South China Sea is a region fraught with territorial disputes. The waters are claimed by multiple countries, leading to a tense atmosphere. The Philippines has had its share of disputes, especially with China. The new missile system, with its supersonic speed and effectiveness against air defenses, is a strong deterrent against foreign vessels encroaching on the Philippines' territory. It's a clear message to any potential aggressors. The Philippines is prepared to defend its maritime borders. But this isn't just about the Philippines flexing its military muscle. This deal is also a reflection of regional efforts to counterbalance Chinese military activities. Countries like Japan and South Korea are contributing to Manila's defense capabilities, showing a united front against potential threats. The BrahMos missile deal represents more than just a purchase. It signifies the Philippines' commitment to modernize its military and secure its territorial waters. It's a crucial step in establishing an anti-access slash area denial strategy, protecting sea lines of communication and enhancing maritime surveillance capabilities. This deal certainly has major implications. But before we delve deeper, how about a quick reminder? 
Are you finding this content informative and engaging? If so, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing not only supports us in continuing to bring you these deep dives into current events, but it also ensures that you won't miss out on our latest videos. Now, let's get back to our discussion. What are the further implications of this missile deal, you may ask? Well, let's delve into that. This deal may just be the beginning of an arms evolution for the Philippines. The acquisition of the shore-based BrahMos missile system is a significant step, but it's not the end of the road. There's potential for the Philippines to acquire ground-based BrahMos missiles for its army. This would further strengthen the country's defensive capabilities and deterrence strategy, safeguarding its territories from potential threats. But the Philippines isn't going at it alone. There's a broader picture here. Other countries, such as Japan and South Korea, have also been contributing to Manila's defense capabilities. This international cooperation signifies a collective effort to maintain balance and stability in the region. These partnerships can lead to knowledge sharing, fostering technological advancements, and building a more robust defense network. However, every action has a reaction. While the missile system boosts the Philippines' defense, it could also impact relations with neighboring countries, particularly China. The South China Sea has long been a flashpoint for territorial disputes, and this new development could add another layer of complexity. The Philippines, while enhancing its defense, must also navigate these diplomatic waters carefully to maintain regional harmony. But let's not forget, defense is not just about firepower. It's also about strategy, diplomacy, and alliances. The Philippines' decision to bolster its defense capabilities with the BrahMos missile system is a clear message to the world. It shows a nation committed to safeguarding its sovereignty and reinforcing its position on the global stage. So, what does the future hold? Well, only time will tell. But one thing is clear. The Philippines is no longer a bystander in the regional arms race. It's a player, and it's playing to win. Undoubtedly, this missile deal is a game-changer for the Philippines and the region. It's a new chapter in the country's defense narrative, and we'll be here bringing you the latest updates, analysis, and insights. So stay tuned, keep wondering, and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing content. Don't miss out on future explorations and discoveries. Hit subscribe and ring the bell to stay updated with our new content. Your journey of wonder continues with every video. Stay connected and engaged on social media. Continue the conversation, follow us. Thank you for being a part of the Have You Ever Wondered community. Keep wondering, keep discovering. Until next time.